guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. As you may know from my last upload, I recently, like on Monday, just graduated from high school after four long, miserable, and almost rewarding years. Safe to say I made it out. <laughs> so I have decided to film a story time slash rant about the most painful teacher I've had to deal with in my four years as a high school student. This teacher is literally the teacher from hell. So I decided to wait until after I graduated to make this video for obvious reasons, but I know for a fact that I'm not the only student or former student at my old school to have had problems with the staff member. So what finally made me decide to make this video was I spent a couple days down the coast and I came back on Thursday. I went from Tuesday through to Thursday and I was staying with my great uncle. And we were talking about school and I was telling him about some of the stuff that had happened and I realised that I would never be able to tell any of these stories without getting incredibly enraged or annoyed or angry or, you know, one of those things where it just boils your blood every single time. So I decided to finally make a video about all of it because I've been wanting to for so long but I put off because I was still at that school and it might end badly. So hope you like it and find some enjoyment out of my pain and misery. Hope I don't get too sarcastic or mean. <laughs> Time to dial it down a little. But anyway, forget about that and let's go into the video. So let's start this story from the very beginning. Once upon a time, a long ass time ago, or four years ago, I started at this school. And did I meet anyone who but this lovely human being who somehow happened to hate my mother without even knowing her? So you may be wondering why I'm looking in front of me. I'm looking down at everything I've written. There have been so many different incidences and things that had happened that I couldn't remember at all so I had to speak to my mom and my mate to remember everything and I literally wrote down everything so that I would remember hopefully this doesn't turn into a full fledged therapy session but I probably need it plus this is free so when I was in year 7 my mom would occasionally ring or email to school to find out information about certain things like excursion, learning plans, class, class changes and my ILP because I was on an individual learning plan because of my hearing loss. And so the school would always redirect her to this staff member, but this staff member would never answer my mom's emails or calls and would wait weeks before sending my mom or getting someone else to send my mom an email on her behalf. Like just refused to talk to my mother or acknowledge her existence. Whenever my mom would be up at the school at the front office getting stuff sorted, my mom would See this woman, wave, smile, say hi, and this woman would literally death stare her, turn around and walk away. Like never once smiled, never once waved, never once said hi, just glared at my mother and walked away. You can imagine that pissed my mom off to no end. So this story technically did start from the beginning of year 7, but it was mainly towards my mom because this person hated my mom and didn't even know her. But the story for me started when I was in year 8. This was when the staff member started giving me a hard time. The first incident that happened was one day I walk out of dance and I see someone they were friends with, I wouldn't say I was extremely close with them, but I was friends with them. And they were upset and I walked up to them and I hugged them and I was pretty much just tried to comfort them and I went, look I have to go, I'm a minute late for my next class, but if you need anything let me know, I'm always here, but I gotta go, I'll talk to you later. I turn around and start walking away from this person and start to walk to my next class and this teacher screams out my name and goes, Cheyenne, go to class, don't hug people when they're upset. I did what any normal person would do, try and comfort someone. And then, get this, the next day I was upset about something, I can't remember what, but this same person walked up to me and hugged me. Not to mention that she had heard everything I had said to this person because she was standing right behind me 
and then decided to yell at me and then hug me the next day and then for the rest of the year whenever she saw me she proceeded to like evil eye me and death glare me and any time she saw me so now you know I rolled around this teacher literally went to the guy I was dating at the time and told him to break up with me because I am not the best person that I'm not in a good mental state that I'm literally the worst person ever. And now I have to agree with that because he was a bit of a... Yeah, you know. But, um, so he told me this. And on the same day, she did something that really pissed me off. So he told me this in the morning and then I think halfway through the day, I got upset because... And you will understand why I got upset in the second, I promise. So, we were talking about a police force in one of my classes and I got a little bit upset and at the end of the class I walked down and I stood by myself for a second and she went I'm okay just go this teacher finds me and sees me and tries to force me to talk to her and I'm going like no I'm fine I'm okay um I don't really want to talk about it it's extremely personal and I'm trying to go to my next class in the end she made me go to her office with her I still wouldn't talk for about 10 minutes until in the end she forced me to talk and I finally told her yeah I'm a little bit upset because we were talking about the police force in my last class and it just made me miss my great well, not my great grandpa but my great grandpa and my pop my great grandpa was a mechanic in the war and we were also talking about the military forces and then we were talking about police force, which my grandpa was a part of, and he died. At this point in time, it had been five or six years since he had died, and I said, it just made me miss him a little. She dead off turned around, looked at me in the face, and said, if you're still dealing with or grieving that loss from that long ago, you need help. I don't know if I do need help for that. I know I need help for other things, but I thought it was a normal human emotion to miss someone who is no longer with them when something about them comes up. Why? So this was that very same day, and then for the rest of the year she spent doing what she had done the year before, glaring at me, and just making things more difficult for me and whenever I would go to find a teacher that I trusted to talk to about something she would always try to force me to talk to her <sighs> but I guarantee you it gets worse so then this year year 10 for me rolled around this year hasn't been the easiest year or the most exciting year but I got through it and but there was a lot of things that had happened, especially with school. And I always talked to my mum about everything. And this woman said, it's great that you talk to your mum, but you need to stop doing that. Or you need to do that less and talk to us more. Honey, no. The last time I spoke to you was about missing my dead grandpa. And you told me that I needed help for missing him. Because we were talking about something that he was a part of. So, one of the main incidents that happened this year with the so said staff member was um, towards the end of semester two, I was, well, not the end, more like the end of term three, I was in the library doing my English assignment. I got permission to be in there for two classes from both of these, t the two teachers for those classes. So, English, first class that day, I'm in the library trying to work out how to edit and put these footages together that way I could send it in and, you know, not fail. And so the day before we had, my group and I finally managed to get everything filmed for this assignment and the next day I was the only person there. So it was up to me to solely edit, put it together and send it in. And I couldn't find a way to do it because everything was on my school Chromebook. So I spent the first class in there with another friend of mine, Josh, who thanks God for his soul for trying to help me. 
And he's in the, we're in there trying to get it done. He's normally meant to be in the library and I just walked in. And this teacher walks past and goes, why are you in here? Shirley tells him no, I have my English teacher to say I was allowed to be in there to work on my assignment. So that's all good gold coming out of a, you know. So she walks away, leaves us alone. The next class I am in there trying to do the same stuff. It was dance. So I had permission from my dance teacher and my English teacher to be in there for that line to get this assignment done because it was due that day. I'm in there trying to get this done and my best mate and my boyfriend walk in. They're getting in trouble by this teacher and another teacher for not being in their classroom. They're telling the te these two teachers why they don't want to be in their classroom, that they don't like it in their classrooms, everyone's being jerks to them, they just want to be in here alone, get their work done and not have to worry about people being jerks. Teacher doesn't like that and the other teacher that was in there was the teacher that liked me and this um, female teacher who <laughs> hated me for the last three or four years turns around and goes, why are you in here? You were in here last lesson. And I went, I'm trying to do my assignment. She goes, but you were in here last lesson doing your assignment. And I went, well, I need it done to you today and I can't figure out how to get anything done. Sorry if that is an inconvenience, but it needs to be done. So she leaves me alone for a minute. After trying to get this teacher who likes me to turn on me and be a jerk to me, and he goes, wait, you in here? I'm like, look, I haven't known. He goes, okay, he leaves me alone. And I go back and do all my work. And after a few minutes, she said something, and I turn around, and then she goes, well, why are you in here? It's dance. And I literally turned around, and I said, I do not care if it's dance right now I need this to get done because I am the only person in my group who is here today my boyfriend my best mate and his other teacher as soon as I said I don't care if it's dance literally went from yep I'm out I'm not dealing with her you're not bad if she's saying that and they literally just went from oh god don't push her there and then she pushed me there and it's just like yep I'm out and so she finally leaves me alone this other teacher leaves my boyfriend and my best mate are allowed to stay in the library, they're doing their work and I'm sitting at a table by myself and this other girl work, walks in who's meant to be in there, it's an offline class and she asked me what I'm trying to do and I explained to her that I had all this footage and I need to edit, put it together and send it in to my English teacher so that we don't all fail and so she goes, oh maybe you should try this or this, it'll work and I went, thanks. Then we stopped talking and she went back to talking to herself because she was trying to get her math work done. Five minutes later, this other woman teacher who hates me said, stop talking to this girl. It's her offline. Okay. Whatever. I go back to do my work. I have my phone out and I was texting my mum and my friend Josh to see if they have found anything to help me out with getting anything done. And she yells at me, put your phone away, you're not meant to have it, you're doing your work in here. I saw it behind me onto the couch because I was sitting like this. There's a table here, Chromebook here, I'm sitting like this and there's a couch right behind me that I'm leaning on. And so I saw it behind me on the couch and you could hear the thud and that was when my boyfriend and my best mate kind of just went, okay, and went back to doing their work. And so then she's standing with this other girl trying to help out with her math and then people were walking to the library to borrow Chromebooks, borrow books and she would go, this isn't a drop in even if it looks like it. And she would look at me when she was saying that and it's just like, <sighs> okay. So after all of this happens and she's still making those little digments or like squaring me and all that shit and she walks away and starts annoying my best mate and me and this girl sitting there and I couldn't find a way to get it done I in the end looked up how to get this done on a Chromebook and it flat out told me there's no cheap or easy way to get it done and I don't know what but my boyfriend must have seen the look at my face walks over, sits on the couch and tells me to sit on it next to him and I literally, even though this teacher like told him to not go anywhere near me because, well, we're not supposed to be near each other because we're doing our work and he's sitting on the couch next to me and I just end up crying on him. Crying out of frustration because like, 
Take a bit of it for me. I need to get this edited and put together and sent in because it's due today. I, if I don't get this done, everyone's gonna fail and hate me. It's all my fault. I'm a loser. I'm a f up. And please support me as I'm crying out of frustration on him. It's breaking me up. The teacher says nothing. Leaves the library and leaves the phone. I'm just like, if everyone fails, it's my fault. Everyone's gonna hate me. And yeah, that was the biggest incident that happened this year, and yeah, mind-boggling. Another thing that happened this year was school shorts. So I always wear sports shorts to school because I dance, and I was doing contemporary, which involved floor work, and these shorts were the only shorts I owned that did not rip but um so i was wearing these to school one day and i was walking with my best friend nikita and another girl and we're walking downstairs to our dance classroom and this woman and another teacher are standing at the bottom of those stairs this female teacher is facing me the other teacher is facing the other way and she flat out turns like she looks at me points at me and goes her and I'm like, um, which one are you talking about? There's me and two other girls. And she's like, huh, and pointing at me again. And I went, okay. So they both come up to me and they're like, your shorts are inappropriate. I'm, I wasn't wearing these shorts. The shorts I was wearing came down to about here on me. Which is midway down my thigh. Because I worked it out with a couple of year 10, year, two years beforehand, that three quarters of the way through my birthmark, is my mid thigh length and so she gets me in trouble for my shorts even though I explained them my four shorts that the only ones I can wear doing dance without them ripping and like they're the appropriate length they're mid thigh length I have a long arm and I still get in trouble and but it, all these other girls were literally walking around in shorts like this and they weren't getting in trouble it was me that was getting in trouble so that annoyed me and they're like well you can wear those shorts but you have to bring other shorts to wear for the rest of the time and it's like okay i will but these are appropriate lengths and then i got home that day looked at all the school shorts i had owned from primary school till now that were made by any uniform company and they all came to the same length midway down my thigh is she telling me that Shorts that are made by actual uniform companies and shops that sell school uniforms are inappropriate lengths because if they were, I'm pretty sure primary schools would have been on that first. <laughs> then towards the end of the year, everyone's getting excited because the end of the year is end of year 10, we all get to graduate, we're all going formal, we're all, we're all excited and... But if one day my math classroom got really loud, I got permission from my math teacher to go into the library and work where it's quiet. I barely put my hand on the doorknob to the library and this woman screams out, Chad, go to class. You're not meant to be in there. Go to class. Do I have to tell you again? I'm like, I have permission for my teacher to be here. Go to class. I don't care. So I turn around and walk away and instead of going to class, I told my teacher gave me permission to work out in the corridor where it was quieter. I don't know what the boys in that class were doing, but all I know was they were either getting murdered, beating each other up, or just leaning back on the wall really hard with their chairs because every five seconds, the wall was doing this. And so I was sitting there with my Chromebook trying to do my math work and every five seconds I'm like... And I had my phone out next to me and my phone was on a calculator because I was doing math and I needed the calculator. And I'm going to show you. I'll be back in a second.
I have my phone on this, the calculator. While I was sitting, Chromebook here, phone was here on the ground. So, phone was there. You can see that it, on the calculator, I'm not texting anyone. And this woman said, put your phone away, you're not meant to be texting in class. When she could see it on the ground, on calculator, because she looked at it. And like, she saw me doing this, typing in the math equation that I needed to get the answer for whatever I was doing. So, I turn off my phone and then turn it back on to use it again for another thing. And right when she walked away, she sickly, sweetly said, thank you Cheyenne, and walked away. That frustrated me. Really bad. And then, within the last week of school, none of the year 10s really had any work to do because everything had been marked already. So, I was sitting in the library because, once again, my math class got really loud. I was sitting in the library with one of my mates and I was reading through magazines and because my Chromebook didn't charge for some reason that day, so I asked the librarian if she could charge it for me for a little while. So, she had been charging it the whole time I was in there and then she must have left when I wasn't paying attention. But I put away the card magazines I was reading and walked over to her and walked to the office, said that she wasn't there and then I walked back to where I was sitting to grab my bag and this woman goes, why are you in here? My math class got loud and I had permission for my teacher to be here. Oh, okay, well, still, why were you here? Because it got loud and, yeah, and there's not really any work for the year 10 to do, and she, the principal was sitting next to her this time, and she kind of laid back on me a little bit, and she goes, well, what are you doing now? She's like, well, I was going to get my Chromebook back from the librarian, but she's not here. I'll, just, I'll come back and get it later, and she goes, mm-hmm. And I'd say, hi, principal, and then walk out with my mate. Yeah, so that was literally my experience with four years with the teacher from hell. Now, just imagine, aside from all these things, every day, whenever she sees me, whenever she walks past me, she death threats me or she doesn't like me or she just makes faces when I'm around or find any random excuse to get me in trouble or to upset or anger me. But I'm glad to have graduated now and I'm glad to be forever but I just thought this would be a great story time to make and go if you're dealing with any of these teachers you can make it. I promise you it may seem hard you may want to yell at them you may want to hit them don't hit them. If they really annoy you you can yell if you want if they're pushing you to that point. But you will make it, I promise. And they may not like that you make it, but be proud of yourself and you will make it. So that's it for today's upload. Make sure to subscribe and hit the post notification bell and like this video and comment down below. Sorry if this wasn't a more interesting or more diplomatic or fun video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it, if anything you take from it that may be hard and it may be making your life hell, but persevere and you will make it. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thanks for the, taking the time to watch this video and for, you know, even caring about me and my channel and my videos. But, um, comment down below what you would like to see for, ne for my next upload, which will most likely be a Christmas upload. But, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope you guys somewhat like, like this video and... Peace out.